Having won the right to host the 1994 FIFA World Cup Finals, the organizers were desperate to make the tournament in the USA the greatest show on earth. With 24 teams competing, the tournament attracted the highest average crowds in FIFA World Cup history. Diego Maradona returned to the World Cup, hoping to repeat his glorious success of 1986. He would have to be on top of his game to see Argentina progress to the final. Argentina's second game in Group D was against African hopefuls Nigeria. They fell behind for an early goal from Samson Siasia. However, two goals from Claudio Canigia in the space of seven first half minutes were enough for Argentina to score a 2 1 win. However, the win was tarnished by the news that Diego Maradona had tested positive for a banned substance. His punishment prevented him from taking any further part in the competition. In the opening game of Group E, the Republic of Ireland recorded one of the shock results of the tournament with a 1-0 win against Italy. The only goal of the game scored by Ray Hatton. Saudi Arabia were another team to defy the odds by beating Belgium 1-0. Saeed Awairan scored one of the goals of the tournament with this memorable solo run. USA's reward for qualifying from Group 1 was a second round match with South American giants Brazil. A minute before half time, Brazil were reduced to 10 minutes and they were not to sent off the order in Pad Ramos. Despite the setback, Brazil competed well and scored the only goal of the game. Bebeto's goal 16 minutes from time prevented the USA achieving a famous Independence Day win. Argentina faced Romania in the second round without the disgraced captain Diego Maradona. Romanian striker Ili Dimitrescu scored two goals in the space of seven first half minutes to secure a 2-1 half-time lead. Giorgi Hadji extended Romania's lead 11 minutes into the second half. Barbao reduced the deficit for Argentina with 15 minutes remaining. Argentina failed in their bid to score an equaliser and went out of the tournament. Romania had scored a well-deserved victory. Nigeria's Daniel Omakachi scored this memorable goal against Greece. After winning Group D, Nigeria made a great start at the second round match of Italy. They took the lead in the 26th minute to Emmanuel Anunoco. They didn't sit back on their lead and pushed forward for a second. Italy's substitute Gianfranco Zola was sent off 12 minutes after coming on as a second half substitute. With two minutes to go, this goal from Roberto Baggio forced the game into extra time. In the first half of extra time, Baggio had the chance to put Italy into the lead from the penalty spot after Eguavon brought down Benarivo in the area. With a 
touch of good fortune, Baggio's penalty went off the coast. Despite going out of the tournament, Nigeria had done themselves and their fans proud. Holland went through to the quarter-finals with a 2-0 win over Ireland. Germany also progressed following a 3-2 win over Belgium. Sweden made a positive start in their quarter-final match with Romania. Martin Darlene was denied a third-minute goal by the post. Sweden's Thomas Brolin broke the deadlock with 11 minutes of the match remaining with this well-placed shot. Romanian striker Florin Radicoye equalised for Romania with two minutes to go. Romania took the lead in the first half of extra time, Radicoye's second half of the game. 